Hello my amazing sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far, and I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. In today's video we are back with another Forza Horizon 5 drag and tune video. The car that we are going to be abusing today is the Koenigsegg CC8S, but before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, the Koenigsegg CCAS, definitely a car that got forgotten about. To start off with the upgrades, we're putting in the 5.1 litre V8 twin turbo, same as the CCGT, it's a monster of an engine. And you also want to make it all wheel drive. When it comes to aero and appearance, we are going to go with the Forza Horizon front bumper and the spoiler. This is only just so we have the speed option unlocked on the tuning. It's not necessarily needed. You could actually avoid it just to shed weight off the car if you wanted to. It's just a personal preference. For the platform and handling, race brakes, off-road springs, Avoid the roll cage, it adds too much weight, and of course, go with that weight reduction kit, you want to put it onto race. Next category, the drivetrain, stock transmission, race driveline, and a race differential. When it comes to the last category, tires and rims, this one is pretty basic. You want to go with drag tire compound tires, make the front tire width as small as possible, and make the rear tire width as big as possible. When you've done all of that, you are good to go. You could put on a lighter rim set as well, just to help the car shed a little bit more weight if you want to. You don't have to, but that's what I've done. After this, purchase all the upgrades and we can start on this tune. Now the tune, if you want the share code, skip about 30, 40 seconds ahead, and then you can have the share code. The share code pretty much allows you to do the tune and the upgrades without needing to do any of the annoying adjusting or anything like that. It does all the upgrade work for you, but the downside is you can't fiddle or adjust the upgrades or the tune at all. It's just stuck stock how it is. Or you could apply it manually. It's entirely up to you. Either way, you get the tune. Some people like to apply the tune manually though just so they have a little bit more control over the tune, at least then they can adjust the final drive, tyre pressure, anti-roll bars, little things like that. But it's entirely up to you what you want to do, either use the share code or apply it manually. But it is one heck of a tune, definitely I would personally consider a must try. When it comes to talking about the car, this Koenigsegg is definitely forgotten about, you could say, the CCAS. Uh, CCAS, it was definitely forgotten about. When it comes, when you hear Koenigsegg, more people hear Jesco, that's what they go for, or the Ajera, or even the one, little, little Koenigseggs like that, they don't really go for this one. This is the basic Koenigsegg, I believe, that you can just straight away buy from the auto show. But uh, more people prefer the Jesco, and Obviously, when the public, your friends, the community all say, you got to try the Jesco, you got to try this Rymac, you got to try the RTR, you got to try the Diablo, or a Ferrari, this, or whatever, you will instinctively want to try that car. So you'll obviously go to try that car, it'll be awesome, you'll use it for days, weeks on end, or whatever, but you'll forget about other cars that you were going to do drag tunes on or wanted to try or wanted to buy and the CCAS is definitely the statement of that, it's the definition of that statement. It's just forgotten about, honestly, people went with the Jesco and everything but they forgot, forgot about this car, but just because they've forgotten about it doesn't mean it is bad at all, this car is definitely a must try, it's super super fast. When it comes going back to the ramp, it goes from 0 to 260 miles an hour just in that little short space of distance on the on the quarter mile there. Uh, when it goes to actually going to the flash, it will get all the way up to 227 to 228 miles an hour, which in the space it gets from 0 to 228 is insane. This car flies. 
you definitely want to try it out. Let me know what you think of the tune and the car down in the comment section below. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you. And I'll see you all in the next video.